Of course, I think Lucky Bottoms works more times than he doesn't. There's always a handful of animatronics in the stores that don't really work right, but Lucky Bottoms is always kicking it. I know that was a pretty funny joke because you don't even have legs, you can't kick it. Alright guys, we are in Peoria, Illinois at a shopping center that I believe is called the Shops at Grand Prairie. Now this spirit was a little difficult to find. This is the shopping center right here. It's like an outdoor mall that stretches very, very far. And I drove very slowly through the parking lot and saw the spirit back here in between the home goods and the Old Navy. That's right. It's right back there. You can just barely see it right there. However, we can see it. So we are gonna go back here to the Spirit Halloween, hidden in the outdoor shopping mall, and see what kind of Halloween goodness they have. And you know what really sucks? It's closed. That's right, my friends. The inside of the store is absolutely 100% gutted, and this Spirit Halloween is not even open yet. I must have read the app wrong with my one eye! Curse you, former dress barn! You know what, though? It's okay, because this one is only five minutes away from it, and they are open. That's right, just five minutes away, we are now at Northwoods Mall in an old Sears that has become a Spirit Halloween, and they are open. Let's go in and see what kind of awesome Halloween goodness we can find at the Spirit Spirit Halloween. Okay, Peoria, Illinois, Spirit Halloween. This place is huge. And the first thing we are going to look for in here is those keychains that I can't find anywhere else. All right, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas bag clips. We have Trick or Treat and the Chills and Thrills down here. And unfortunately, that appears to be all they have in the bag clip area. So let's come on over here and get this started right here in front of the Monster Laboratory. And this guy is the first one to talk to us. So let's check out Lord Raven. He is actually pretty loud in this store, guys. Like I said before, the speaker is in the back of him, so the sound actually shoots out that way, which makes it hard to hear him. But he's pretty loud in this store. Okay, right beside him we have the Possessed Pumpkin. I love how huge he is. Come on, Mr. Possessedy. Okay, he's not gonna work for whatever reason. I'll bet you anything he will turn on a little bit later though, because a lot of times they play tricks on me. I can't get them going, and then I turn around and they're running up behind me. I love how this one is kind of at an angle, like you're going straight here and then you have to turn to go through the rest of the laboratory. Here are the bubbles of death tubes. And look at this one. It's really murky, like it killed someone and then dissolved their bones. I heard the sounds coming out of here. In fact, here they come. You can hear the bubbles of death. And then up here, oh crap, is it gonna work? Please start spinning and show us Jack. All right, well, it looks cool anyways. Down here we have Barry going nuts on us already, but he's just sitting still. He's not going anywhere. All right, Barry, you don't feel like swinging today. That's okay with me. Because we got young Crouchy over here with this big red fro. Let's see what he wants to do. All right. Look how much smaller young Crouchy's hands are than the regular Crouchy. Like they're just about the size of my hands. And actually, if we come back out here to the possessed pumpkin, these are Crouchy's hands right here. So you can see the difference. That's how big they are to my hands. And then young Crouchy in here has these teensy tiny little hands. Although I never noticed that he also has chicken pox. Okay, let's come on out here, guys, because I see back here there is a stack of animatronics. Let's check them out. I like the layout of this store, guys. It goes all the way through here. There's more animatronics over there that we're gonna check out, but look at this. They have a young Crouchy for sale and 
a gram, and another gram. They also have a Lucky Bottoms, and they have a berry and another berry. Jumping Spiders galore, as well as Sinister Spirit Dolls, both kinds. And they have three Bubba's, Man's Possessed Friend. Before we go around this corner, let's go ahead back here because I saw some more animatronics stacked up over here. Right this way, and yes, look at this, guys. We have a Lord Raven here. We have a Bog Zombie. Oh my gosh, guys, they have a lot of animatronics for sale here. They have a Mr. Dark. And look at this, we have a Monty right here. We have two Nightcrawlers and a Nozzles on the bottom. And look at this, we have a whole wall of sitting scarecrows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Let's keep moving because we are not done. Look at this, guys. Right here we have a Bag of Bones and a Possessed Pumpkin. I tell you, before the season's over, I'm gonna buy that Possessed Pumpkin right there. Maybe not this one, but another one. And look at this hiding on the other side of the pillar. We have two two skelly bones. I'll tell you what, I was disappointed when that other store was closed, guys, but this one has totally made up for it. This is an awesome store. Good job, Peoria in the Sears. All right, let's come on over here and check these guys out. First, we have Lucky Bottoms. Let's see if we can get him going. Of course, I think Lucky Bottoms works more times than he doesn't. There's always a handful of animatronics in the stores that don't really work right, but Lucky Bottoms is always kicking it. I know that was a pretty funny joke because you don't even have legs, you can't kick it. All right, we got Nazi here. Let's get him going. Come on, Grandma Nazi. Oh, I was hoping that he would have the, uh, the fog going here, but he doesn't. All right, Nazi, you're a good guy anyway. Let's come on over here and check out Jumping Jack, the bag of bones. Come on, Jack, there you go, buddy. I like you. And we got Jumping Dark, Mr. Dark. Come on, Mr. Dark. All right, here we go. Yep, he's always good for a scare. Oh, wait, we have one more jumping guy. It's the red and black spider. There you go. What a good guy you are. All right, let's go on through the haunted experimental electricity room. I see the electric already going ballistic in here, waiting to electrify our faces. Let's see if the floor will turn on. Come on now. Well, there you go, the floor, it took for, it took me to get all the way over here for it to turn on. And I was getting electrified the whole way. All right, let's come on out here because guys, look at this, what I see over here. It's the creepy dolls that we pretty much see in all the stores now. I'm still on the lookout for the Crouchy doll, but we do have the Creepy Baby doll. We do have the Decrepit Haunted doll. We do have the Pumpkin Nester doll and Hugs. And we have Eerie Emma and Rosalie. I haven't seen a lot of the vintage dolls either this year. Oh no, but I do see the horribly disgusting intestine. There's four intestines. Puke. And we do have a whole slew of babies waiting to be adopted, including two burrito babies. I don't know, I'm still kind of liking the idea that it's a burrito bat baby hanging in a cave. What do you guys think about it? Still keeping secrets, eh? How many of you guys have bought this cat right here? I bought one and I'm thinking I'm gonna live stream with him soon. All right, we got the inflatables back here. It looks like we got the hearse on the bottom, the ghost, the cat, the tombstone, the reaper, the gargoyle, the jack-o'-lantern stack, the scary clown archway, and the jack-o'-lantern archway. And we have the Frankenstein sidestepper up there, as well as the devil and the vampire door knocker. I love these. Listen to this guy. Are you sure you want to go inside? This place sucks out all your blood. <laughs> <laughs> this place sucks out all your blood, he said. And I'm really liking these pumpkin lights. Let's see if we can get them to light up. Um, no, I guess not. Oh, look, they also have the empty soul girl on a swing. In fact, it looks like there's four of them and two of the crimson, the creepy crimson girl on a swing. You know what? Let's leave a couple of stickers for the rubber chicken right here. And a couple for the zombie babies right down here. And a couple in the Electricities of Death, right down here. Ah, oh, nice. I love that the Hocus Pocus section is fully stocked. 
getting ready for the new movie. Now, I'm probably going to regret not buying a Billy Butcherson's head because I heard that Billy Butcherson is in the new Hocus Pocus movie. Did we see Monty yet? I don't remember if we saw him in this store yet. Let's go let him give... What the heck is going on with him? <laughs> he's moving, but he's quiet. All right, sir, we'll leave you alone. I can, I can take a hint. And as always, we're still waiting for the rest of the Scream stuff to come in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this, guys. This is the, something I haven't seen in the other stores yet. Look at this. We got a knife, and it actually does look like the Buck 120. That's the actual knife that uh, that the Scream knife is modeled after, a buck 120. We got the mask and we have the voice changer. That is an awesome pack right there. It's called the Slayer Kit. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize there's also gloves with this kit. All right, we're gonna check one more thing here, guys, before we go, and yes, look at this. They actually have the Ghostface Spirit Halloween logo shirts. How cool is that? They just don't go up any larger than XX. And I'm a big guy, so I need like 4X, but it's awesome to see that they're in the store, and it's awesome that I can let you know that they are in stock so you can come get one for yourself. All right, guys, that's it for the Spirit Halloween in the old Sears here in Peoria, Illinois. Make sure you get down here and check it out. Those guys were totally awesome in there, and they're totally stocked because they just opened.